Coin Locker, baby. Go back to jail. After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. Hello, my fellow gamers. Can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, Sawashiro san. What? Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped arakawa son push the Tojo clan out of Kamrucho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we work with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance. He would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you, but I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. Player than giving. That's a crazy amount, it looks like. That's a lot of money. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. We'd like to keep things friendly if that's possible. Of course! After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd say the score is settled. If you need us, our door is wide open for you. Second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> Wait, he inherited? <laughs> <laughs> what? Think the score's settled? 
You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You won't repeat that? Sawashiro, you fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line. Arakawa fucked up. His captain should be on his knees right now. Stop! What are you doing? You know, guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's war time. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucked to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak, and that goes for all of you. Oh my God. <sighs> They got real fast. I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support, Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long. But I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Yeah, we saw this coming. What? <laughs> Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa son! The little fuck damn near took our guy out. We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. Alright then. Let's go, you little shit. Backstory's important after all. That was a gruesome ten minutes. I think that's your phone. Chairman. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. You eating well? Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help the grief. Meet me at Heian Tower. What for? 
That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Uh, thanks, but right now I... Just be there. Fine. I'll be waiting. Shall we go? Chairman Hoshino wants to meet. Yeah, at Heion Tower. Are you going? Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. That's depressing. Like, this got real. Oh, we're going to Chinatown. Okay. Look, we have a lot of money just to skip the Chinatown. So, so Oracle is dead. Which is depressing at this point. We're about to see a new chapter of the Yakuza. And it's not gonna be a free sight. Hmm? The sticker's on wrong. The fortune symbol's upside down. No. This is called a tofuku. It's a Chinese tradition where you flip it to get your fortune. Oh, so you flip it on purpose. First time I've seen that. I think the tofuku's pretty famous. You sure you haven't seen it in any Chinese restaurants? Hmm, usually when I go out to eat, all I'm paying attention to is the menu or the food. Well, that explains a lot. Well, we need bonds and special with Chow. There you are. Uh, we got a hero cat too, which I think we forgot about the uh, part time here because we haven't touched it at all. Yeah, yeah, here's a cat. Go away. With finesse. So itchy. A certain place in the world, high in tower. Oh, I've been here several times. I want you to know, last night, Arakawa seemed at peace. Like an actor stepping off stage to thunderous applause. I think that's because he achieved his goals. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking duck. I commented on it, actually. Can you believe this? He said he'd never had it before. What? He said he almost got to try it 50 years ago, but then his father was killed, and he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. Huh? Hmm. After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it, he'd probably be alive right now. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. Let me ask you something. Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit to end someone's life over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? Kill a captain like him? Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complained the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son? Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Because I think it's the one man who could actually bring them to heel. Ryo Aoki. No. A young master? Ordering the death of his own father? He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to. Huh? 
Kasuga. You should take revenge for Arakawa. I can lend you men from the Seiryu clan. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? No. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. I'm sure of that. Then, what will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think he wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable, not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> what I really want to do is open the young master's eyes. Give him a wake-up call. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing I could do. Kasuga. Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. I assure you it did not, Chairman. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. <laughs> it's all good. I think I've got something figured out. You can pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? <laughs> Still, going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. At the very least, I'll bring your body back. I appreciate the offer, really. But I'll be fine by myself. I've already got the best crew I could ask for. Well, I like the way he thinks. We'll see what happens, that's the real question. Oh, jeez. You waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. Sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well... Looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway, how about we go visit Kume? Visit Kume? Why? To make him arrange a meeting. I want to meet with Aoki. And Kume's got the hookup, seeing as he's Ogasawara's replacement. Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa-san would have wanted. Sounds like a long shot. What makes you think Kume will cooperate with you? Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, the guy deserves it. Hell yeah, he does. I'm in. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start the search. No search required. Today is announcement day. What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. The political brawl has begun. Man, do you know everything? The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why wouldn't I be following it closely? Do you know where Kume would be on announcement day? Well, each candidate will give their first speech in their district, usually on a huge stage. Kume's district, Kanagawa's second, has a massive stage by the gate on Isazaki Road. Let's head over to Isazaki Road then! I mean, that makes a lot of sense. But before we continue, guys, let's go ahead and end things off here. Next we got Yakuza Like a Dragon. Let's meet Kume. We haven't seen him in a couple chapters.